What are some of some more big challenges and some of the differences that you found like working in New York City versus a smaller town where you came from in Ohio doing a similar job? Yeah, so you know, I, I transitioned from a state to a city, right? So I used to work for the state of Ohio. Now I'm with the city of New York, and size-wise, um, as far as the assets and, and maybe even the the retirees and the members, the Ohio plans are actually larger, mm -hmm. just because it covers the entire state. Mm -hmm. And it was funny thinking back. It's funny because you know when I was considering this job, I said to myself, you know. Coming from Ohio, Ohio plans are already complex, especially after the Great Recession that I that I spoke about. You know, after making some plan tweaks to the provision, um, everything got more complicated. So I, I said to myself, you know, Ohio plans are already complicated. It's a swing state. We're very political over there already. You know, I think everything is just it's it's bigger and more complex. But you know, it's it's. It's going to be manageable. So then I get here, mm -hmm. and um, of course, everything's even more complex. Uh, between the five plans and the different tiers in, in New York, there's actually 120 plans. Um, <laughs> and you're on top of all of them. Uh, my you, staff you, and I, you together, have, yeah, you, collectively, you guys are, are all yes. responsible for that. Yes. Yeah. And then, you know, it's obviously city politics are a lot more intense than state politics, but then you add the dynamic that. The one of my bosses is running, was running to become the president of the United States. <laughs> you know, there's a there's a different layer of politics involved with that. I would say the biggest difference is that in Ohio, the way that the employers fund the plan is a fixed contribution. So it's a fixed percentage of, of the payroll. Whereas in New York City, the actuary you know determines and calculates the contribution each year, and the city puts it in. So it might fluctuate based on different demographics and and the way assets have performed and all that. And so because the contributions vary in New York City, you have the city officials and the government officials a lot more in tune with what's going on, so they have to be aware and, and have a heads up of what to expect for the upcoming years. Whereas in Ohio, because everything is fixed, like say 14% of pay across the board, they know for budgeting purposes that this is what's expected each year and that's not gonna change. And so, the government officials in the state of Ohio weren't as involved on the board. And in fact, some of those appointments, uh, the, the governor appointees on the board wasn't filled for some of those years. Whereas, you know, much closer with the city officials here.